Hi, welcome back again. This is lecture three and I hope you understood the first two lectures. Um, you can put comments in down below and let me know um, if you're understanding it. Any questions? There are a lot of questions, I'm sure. I, I had a lot of questions. I haven't answered all my own questions yet, but as I work more and more what I do, uh, answers do come to me. So do ask, and um, if you have any suggestions of improving this style of lecture, uh, please let me know if you can see it properly, if it's, you can hear me properly. I've got a little lapel mic here, so I can be heard. Um, hope the lighting is okay. Okay, so let's um, look at lecture three. So, today we're going to look at a we're going to look at the whole value and we're going to look at um, the we're going to look at the solar leap year cycle the solar leap year cycle has four years it has four it has three years or 365 days and the leap year february has one extra day 29th of february and that gives you 366 days okay so we're going to look at the words three years and leap year. So we've got three years and a leap year. And we're going to work out the placement value. Three is 56. Years 25, 30, 48, 49, 59, 60. Eight leap is L is twelve plus six is eighteen twenty eight thirty four and year is forty nine I think it was okay so if we add that together you should find we get two hundred and seven right that's that's ten nineteen twenty seven carry two eleven plus seven eleven is eighteen nineteen twenty two hundred and seven if we now go to the um, large values I know three is three hundred and thirteen and that's hundred and seven forty nine etc years we've got hundred and forty nine forty two 34, 73, and 86. I'll just do that quickly. 9, 11, 15, 18, 24, 4, 8, 11, 18, 26, 28, and 1, and 2 is 3. 384. Leap year is 87, 5, oh, oops, it is it, not 5, present value, 42, 34, and 96. So I've got 10, 19 there. I've got 9, 12, 24, 25. Okay, and a year, should have gone up from here, that's uh, 9, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18. Don't need the S. 4, 8, 11, 18. I said 18 before, so it would be 19. And 1, and 1, 2. 228, 298. So we add those together. We get 7, 16, 24. We get 9, 14, 23, 24, 25. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got that right. Now, we're going to add those together to give us the whole value. 4 and 7 is 11. 5, 0 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 4, uh, 2 and 2 is 4, and 1. So we get 1,461. That is the whole value. If you, as I said before, you should see my videos in order. If you haven't seen lectures 1 and 2, please do that before you look at this one. You won't quite understand what's going on. Um, so... We've got the placement values, the large values, we've added them together, 
give the whole value. So we've got three years, we've got a leap year. Let's see how many days there are. We have 365 plus 365 plus 365, that's your, your three years, plus 366. What does that make? 5 and 5 is 10, 15, 21, 22. 6, 6, and 6, and 6 is 4, 6 is 24, plus 2 is 26. And now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 is a 12, plus 2 is 14. So we see that the whole value of 3 years leap year give you exactly the number of days in those 4 years. Another interesting thing is the word leap, because the leap year requires there to be one day that's added to the whole lot. So if you take leap, which is 34, and 1 is 34. So leap is connected to the word 1. So this is another way of using the gematria. This is not the classical way of using gematria. This is something much more different than what we would find in Hebrew gematria. Um, but this is showing that there's something very special at the moment in the English language. I'm just going to go back to a few things with um, placement values. Placement values. The word placement value depends on the alphabetical order. If you don't have an alphabetical order, and many letters can go anywhere then you don't have any placement. What is this equal? 16, 12, 1, 3, 5, 13. If you add all together, you'll get 150. And if you do the same for alphabetical order, you'll get 150. Quite interesting. Let me show you one other idea, and we'll finish there. The letters of the alphabet. There's 26. So, if I was to add them all together, all the way down to Z, and I summed it all up, I will get 351. Okay? 351. This is actually the large value of the word sacred. Sacred is 351 in large values. But it also equals the following expression. That equals 351. So the question is, what is the significance of 26? And it's actually the placement value for God, which I won't write on the board. I'll use a dash for the O, because G is 7, O is 15, and, four, and D is 4, will give you 26. And you will find in Hebrew, the Hebrew name for God, the one of the most important ones, called the Tetragrammaton, which we don't pronounce as it's written, is also equal to 26. So we have um, an interesting sort of special uh, significance in number 26. Um, God being 26, uh, if we take the large value of the word 26, that's what God is, is 26, so, I write 26, 
I don't remember this off by heart, so I'm going to quickly calculate this for you. 114, 107, and 149. Put the 6 over here. So 26 is 627. I'm going to check it out through. 7, 12, 13, 14, 18, 18, 25, 34. That's not quite what I thought. So again, 7, that's a 3. It's 163, 42, 104. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 16, 23, 32. It's the other way around. And the word 6 is 295, that I do remember. And if I add those together, I'll get 7, 6, 9. The Supreme God... God is 190, this is 86, 141, 96, 73, 42, 99 and 42. Add that together, it was 7, 27, 13, 16, 17, 18, 27, 28, 29, 8, 12, 21, 28, 32, 41, 45, 46, 47, and 1, 4, 5. And then I've got the. The is 198. That comes so often that I know the one off by heart. So now I add it together. I get 8 plus 9 plus 0 is 7. I get 9 plus 7 is 16. Plus, did that wrong again. Eight plus nine is seventeen. I forgot the one. That's what I did. So again, nine. This is the tens. Nine plus seven is sixteen. Sixteen plus nine is twenty-five. Twenty-six. One plus five is six. Seven, eight, nine. So the large value of the Supreme God is 967 and 26 is 967 and we said that God equals 26. I think that's a bit of a proof that maybe there is a Supreme God up there. But anyway, um, we have, um, I, I, I've got a, a book which I devoted to proving God existing mathematically. But that, that's another time. So here we have um, the letters of the alphabet connected to God after all God spoke and he created the universe the question is whether he spoke English because we would normally say that God spoke Hebrew um, maybe he spoke many languages that's why we had such a confused world but um, we, we, we can see that there is something special here though in the English language and we'll see in the Hebrew language as well some very interesting things at another time. So thank you very much for listening again. This is the third lecture. Uh, more to come. And I hope you're enjoying them. Please give me a like. Please share. And do uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much.